Monkey bread is a fan favorite. So what I want to do is teach you how to make monkey bread in your slow cooker so you know every piece is delicious and gooey and full of flavor. You're gonna take store-bought biscuits. You're gonna cut them into six. Now, technically, you could use a knife, but I think kitchen shears work so much better. So you're gonna take two at a time and just cut it in half and then cut it into thirds, just like that, and then you can pull these little guys apart. All right, once all of that's done, you're gonna take a basic kitchen bag and you're gonna add a sugar and McCormick cinnamon. And you're gonna shake this up, take the cooking spray, and you're gonna spray the inside of the dish. And then you're also gonna spray the outside of a really heavy glass heat-proof jar. So something like this basic canning jar. That's gonna go right in the center of your slow cooker. So I'm gonna take a handful, throw it in there, and mix it all around. The reason why you do it little by little is that way it doesn't clump together and each piece gets coated so that cinnamon and sugar can really caramelize. Great. And you're just gonna start layering it in there. Another handful. And once you're halfway, so the bottom of your slow cooker is covered in monkey bread dough, you're gonna add brown sugar to melted butter, mix it around, and you're gonna pour about half of this mixture on top. <laughs> and then back to shaking the monkey bread. All right, there you go, my little monkey minions. Once you're ready, you're gonna add the rest of that brown sugar and butter mixture. Oh yes, you're so beautiful, I love you. There we go. And then whatever leftover cinnamon and sugar you have, take it by the handful so it's easier to get on every piece and just sprinkle it back over. This is gonna give a nice little crust and caramelization to the top. All right, from here, you're gonna take this, put it in the slow cooker. You're gonna get a moisture absorbent towel. Put it on top, lid on, and set for an hour on high. Now the whole purpose behind the towel is that way it absorbs any leftover condensation so it doesn't ruin your monkey bread and make it too gooey. After an hour, you're gonna take your pot holders because it will be hot. Do you love monkey bread? Yeah. Me too. You too? Yeah. Okay. And you're gonna turn it. The turning is to make sure that it cooks evenly so that way there's no dry spots or overly cooked spots. This is gonna sit for another hour. Okay, after two hours, you're gonna remove it and let it sit for another 10 minutes. Once that happens, take the lid off. Oh yeah, it's super delicious. Remove the jar, which is gonna be hot. Get a giant platter, something that can hold and is bigger than your slow cooker insert. Put it on top. <coughs> Firmly grasp the platter and the slow cooker insert. And with the power of the monkey bread, flip. <coughs> You're going to lift the slow cooker off the top. <laughs> now this is gonna be hot, but it's also gonna be so delicious. I recommend serving it warm, so if I were you, I would put this on the table and let people ooh and awe over it for a few minutes before digging in. So check out below, subscribe, and get the exact recipe so that way you can monkey around in your own kitchen. Oh, I just can't help myself. Hot. Too hot. Still too hot.